Let's make some cool buttons for Excel and then make them work so that when we click them, we get a macro, no matter where we click, the text, the button, or the icon itself. And I'm going to show you how to easily make the buttons, the icons, and combine everything, as well as a really cool 3D shapes like this with the world and a little moving line on it and all sorts of different options. So no more gray buttons for your spreadsheets. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to Teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. Now let me get these guys off the spreadsheet and let us start fresh. This is just a regular spreadsheet without grid lines. Let's get them back for the moment. And everything that we want to do here is going to be on the Insert tab. So go there and go to the illustrations section, and this is where we are going to build our buttons. If Excel is a little bit wider on your screen, this will already be visible. And the first thing you do for your button is to build a base layer, so the shape. What's it going to look like? And you want to use a rounded rectangle for that almost always. So draw the button, and it's easier to make jumbo buttons at first, get the design right, and then just shrink them down. And once you have a good design, then you can copy the shrunken button and make whatever minor changes you need. So we're going to make a jumbo button here. And the first thing is to add some text. So just start typing, save, and then we can highlight the text and make it go to the right and make it jumbo. And then maybe we could make it a little bit smaller. Then go to Insert, Illustrations, Icons, and this is where you add the magic. There are so many really cool options, and if you just type some basic words up here, you're going to get really great options. So we want the Save icon, so I will double-click that guy. The shape will already be selected, so go to the Graphics Format tab, and usually you're going to want to change the Fill, so Graphics Fill, and make it the same color as the text, or usually white works well. And then when you slide it over the button, it is very easy to view. Make it a little bit smaller. You can make it smaller like this, but sometimes you can mess it up. So sometimes what you want to do is go over here to the right on the Graphics Format tab and mess around with the height and width here. Or click the little arrow in the corner. And you get a few more options to deal with the size. It can be a real pain, though. So you want to make it when you have a big button, get all the proportions correct, and then use that as a template for shrinking the button down. But once you have it how you want, just place it right here and hold Shift and then click the button. Then right click, go to Group, Group, and now you have a single unit, a single button just like that. Then just right click over it and go to Assign Macro. And we assign a macro how we've done it a million times before. Click the macro, hit OK. And that's it. Now we can click anywhere and have the macro run even on the icon itself. Now I'm going to show you a couple other things related to this and then let's add a 3D model, which is a really cool thing where we had the world with a little animation on it. So I'm going to remove the macro. It just makes dealing with this guy a little bit easier. Delete and then hit OK. And now let's move it up and just copy and paste it. And let's say that I want to move save over here to the left because my button has to be this wide. Well, if we have it right aligned, we cannot just go to the end and hit a bunch of spaces. It's not going to do anything. So what you want to do in that case is left align it, then go to the beginning of the text and just add some spaces. So you push it in from the left. And that makes it a little bit easier to space it out and make it look nice. And now that we have it grouped, if you click on the outside, it'll select the entire group, but then you can select an individual piece if you click a second time. So now we have that selected, and I could hit delete to remove it, but the button would still be there. And you could do the same with the button. Once you have the outer one clicked, just click in the button or click where the text is in that case, and you can deal with the button itself. But dealing with grouped elements can be a bit of a pain. So just go to the Page Layout tab and Selection Pane to reduce your pain, and then you can click the individual elements here or the entire group. And now let's add the really interesting 3D model and see what we get. So shapes, 
rounded rectangle. Let's make it really big. And let's call this one the world. And we shall right align it and make it jumbo. Of course, I have to select the text first. Make it jumbo. And I'm also going to put it in the middle like that. That's another thing you might have to do. And now back to the insert tab, illustrations, 3D models. And let's go with stock 3D models. They have a lot of really cool things that you can use here. So here we have some animals. I think that there should be a dinosaur somewhere when it loads up. There we go. And when you insert these guys, we get animated 3D models. Look at this. And you can move them around and have them right there in Excel. So this one is actually way more interesting than the world. So let's put that guy right there. And now we have an animated dinosaur in Excel. And I am certain that your boss would love that. So let's click him. And let's click the World button while holding Shift. Right click, Group, Group. And then, while they are both selected, right click, Assign Macro. Assign them to the macro. Hit OK. And now we can click the T-Rex anywhere and run the macro. Okay, seeing as how this is a start to a new year, I do think that everyone should make a button just like this in their spreadsheet. And what you should do is once you have it, let's copy it and then paste a new one in. Drag it up here and make it smaller. So make a small button with a small dinosaur and then get the text small. I'm going to remove the macro to make this a little bit easier. Then I'm just going to select the rectangle over here. It's a little bit smaller. And make the font size much, there we go, smaller. All right, so everyone should make a button like this and just put it in your coworker's spreadsheet and see how long it takes them to notice. Just a small one somewhere in the corner. Or just change a regular basic one and see what happens. But now that you know how to do that, I do have to warn you that these 3D models, they are really, really, really cool, but they inflate the size of your spreadsheet by an insane magnitude. So this downloadable file would be something like 1 or 200 Ks normally, but with a 3D model, it goes over 10 megabytes. And with the T-Rex, it might even be bigger than that. So what I was going to show you with the world is that what you can do is you can just right click this guy and then go to Save as Picture. It's off the screen right now, so let me click the little one. Save as Picture. And then save it on your machine, and then insert the picture. So here I made a picture of the world. And you can see that this is the 3D one that was animated, but it's no longer animated. Just a static, frozen image. But the cool thing with the models is that you can change their position. So when we select the 3D model, we can move it around. So maybe you want a different angle and then make that a photo and then you can put it back in your spreadsheet and it won't be a jumbo spreadsheet anymore. But that's how you can make really, really cool buttons. And please, please, please add this to one of your coworkers' spreadsheets. Just do it randomly and see what happens. I think it at least would lighten up the mood in the office for a little bit. Or even maybe just do it on your own spreadsheet so that it can add a little bit of levity, a little bit of joy in an otherwise dull spreadsheet environment. And nobody has to know except for you that you have animated all of the buttons in your spreadsheet with dinosaurs. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.